And a president two years ago, Mark Frerichs, a veteran of the United States Navy from Illinois, was abducted by the Taliban. Two years. At the time, Mark was working as civil engineer. For a decade, he'd been leading construction projects to benefit the people of Afghanistan. But on January 31st, 2020, Mark was invited to a meeting, ostensibly to discuss his next project. When he arrived, he was kidnapped and taken to a stronghold in the mountains of Afghanistan. For two agonizing years, Mark's family has prayed for his safe return. They shouldn't be forced to wait a minute longer. Last week, Charlene Kakora, Mark's sister, wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post urging the Biden administration to help finally bring Mark Frerichs home. My colleague, Senator Duckworth, and I have made the same appeal to the president many times over to push every possible lever to secure the safe and urgent release of Mark. It seems the administration is committed to do so, and I thank the president for his recent statement. He said in that statement, the Taliban must immediately release Mark before it can, quote, expect any consideration of its aspirations for legitimacy. We all pray that Mark is still alive and good health. So as the administration and Secretary Blinken continue to hold talks with the Taliban on everything from women's rights to combating starvation and famine, I hope and pray that Mark's release will remain on the forefront of those negotiations. I look forward to continuing to work with the administration on this case. Senator Duckworth and I have worked behind the scenes as best we can over and over, year after year, month after month, to bring him home. Let's make sure that Mark Frerichs doesn't spend another year in captivity. Let's bring him home to Lombard, Illinois, so he can turn 60 in the loving arms and company of family and friends. Madam President, I yield the floor and suggest the absence of quorum.